Hi, I'm Cindy abbott Leitro, and welcome to Behind the Camera. Uh, today we're going to really celebrate the contribution of Erie County's uh, Commissioner on Environment and Planning. Some 35 years ago, uh, he started in a profession that I'm sure at that time he would never have thought that he would end up uh, really facilitating the film industry throughout our region. And 35 years ago, what, what was the first job? <laughs> Uh, reviewing sewer plans for subdivisions uh, in the this county. This is much more exciting, Tom. You've got to uh, admit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of different types of pictures, yes. When you look at how far you've come in 35 years, though, uh, to be the commissioner and to be open to really, when we started talking about this sort of beginning industry, uh, you had to have a real open mind. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, there's the numbers you know, kind of speak for themselves as far as what, uh, you know, one of my responsibilities as commissioner is economic development. So, um, you know, the economic impact that the film industry and, you know, the the tax situation and everything that's been set up in New York and in Western New York uh, that facilitates it is, you know, it's a great opportunity, uh, you know, for economic impact, for jobs, for, um, and brings excitement to town. Um, you know, there's no place like Buffalo to embrace, um, you know, a movie company and, uh, you know, a film when it comes to town. Uh, you know, we've had all kinds of comments from the stars that have been here about mm -hmm. their experiences here, how they want to come back here. Um, Buffalo's made for movies, I guess. So. Well, you know, it's funny. I was uh, riding with Tim Clark uh, to do this interview, and one of the things we came underneath a really old bridge. And he says, look at this. He said, Guillermo del Toro came and he went crazy that this bridge was in existence in our city. There are things that probably you always thought of as something that was on the tax rolls that maybe didn't have a purpose, but all of a sudden they have a big purpose in a new industry. Yes, I mean, that's, you know, that's when you look at the facilities, which is one of the, you know, one of the drivers that would bring um, films, that brings films to this area. Um, we, we have, a, you know, we have settings in Buffalo that you can recreate New York City. You can, you know, do any of the rural, you know, country type things, country setting things that as far as, you know, outdoor and, and on set sites, but, you know, now, um, you know, as things are uh, developing, you know, we also have great indoor facilities that are being you know, beginning to develop and, and have uh, those kind of resources available, uh, you know, to attract film. You know, it, it's funny because you have always been, as long as I've known you and as long as, you know, the Erie County is, of course, our, our primary, uh, one of our big sources of funding, and they've been so supportive, you have been so supportive, but at first you think, gee, this guy I'm going to go see is an engineer. He's not going to get Hollywood or understand it. But you have right along understood that this really was an industry that could fit in this community. Yeah, well, um, you know, and this is, you know, there's two things that, you know, kind of have led to that. And uh, one has been, you know, you know, my career growth in the department and being in a department that has such a wide variety of you know, responsibilities as now as commissioner, I'm finding out, uh, you know, full full time. But and, like, give an example of how all of those things come together. Oh, um, so we, I mean, we have county parks. We, you know, we're responsible for helping our county parks and planning and those kind of things. I mean, a lot of our county parks facilities are, you know, have been used for movie sets. I mean, we have a, you know, a, you know, we have a WPA structures, historic structures in our parks that, you know, are an opportunity to attract certain settings for certain movies. Um, that's our parks department. Um, you know, as far as uh, you know, other things that. Well, the water. You've been involved right. with, you know, promoting fishing and uh, during your career, the development of that. Uh, Erie Canal Harbor area, all of those things. Yeah, one I guess yeah, one of my you know career long uh, you know projects or involvements has been with the uh, you know the cleanup and and restoration and and uh, you know redevelopment of the Buffalo River. Um, we have you know the county has pocket parks along the Buffalo River, uh, and these are also you know amenities that that can attract. Um, you know, films, especially when you start thinking about the proximity to indoor facilities and outdoor facilities. Um, we have, you know, five pocket parks, uh, you know, with 
within a mile of this facility here at Buffalo Filmworks uh, that are natural settings along, uh, along the Buffalo River that you can feel like you're, you know, on some part of the Mississippi, you know, where there's, you know, there's no, you know, there's no industrial activity around and it's right next door. So um, that also is another attraction is our, some of our vacant industrial lots and things like that. I know. Well, for instance, we're in, uh, this is Buffalo Filmworks, and I'm sure that people rode back and forth and back and forth seeing this sort of deserted industrial property for a long time. But now it's like at these incredible sound stages that are here. You know, Cindy, one of the things that this brings to mind is that, um, Erie County celebrating its 200th birthday this year. Um, and when we were looking at, you know, how to celebrate our birthday, um, you know, you talk about this facility and what it represents now and how it was vacant for so long. I mean, this was an exciting, you know, factory and thriving factory and industry that, you know, that was sending, you know, first class you know, uh, well, you they know, also public. made uh, trains and locomotives and uh, all kinds of interesting things. Yeah, so, I mean, this this whole corridor, um, you know, along the Buffalo River, which was, is being restored and, and uh, um, you know, and, and a lot revitalized, uh, you know, with, um, you know, we've got, you know, microbreweries, we've got all types of industry that's within the last five years have started to, you know, locate in this area and, um, you know, to bring support and support for, you know, things that happen here um, that can, you know, local restaurants, you know, local waterfront attractions and things that, you know, the movie stars see and find and want to come back for. Well, you have, I know you're into the countdown before your retirement, and we're sorry to see that, but I know for you, uh, you, you know, much deserved rest. What would you like to accomplish during that period that's left? Um, well, you know, uh, this is one of the, you know, one of my responsibilities right now that um, I have kind of managed um, without delegating too much. Um, and I, I won't kid you, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's fun work. I mean, you know, associating with movie stars and, you know, and uh, coming on set when things are happening and being a part of it is, has been exciting for me. But um, also, you know, the other end of it with respect to my job and responsibilities and the economic development things. Um, I see some great opportunity and potential for the film commission. And within the next five months, I hope that, um, you know, Tim and Rich serve a greater area and a greater, uh, you know, region than, you know, who supports them right now. We need to tap into that and we need to tap into other businesses and things that um, are, you know, are benefiting from this in order to give Tim and Rich the resources to keep this good stuff going. I mean, um, you know, this is, it, we're talking about, you know, potentially three new, you know, studio, or, with the sound expansion stages, of uh, sure. yeah, with new sound stages and everything within the next five years, I mean that's you know that's going to hopefully triple what you know the business that, that these guys are bringing here, and these are you know these are two overworked guys already. <laughs> I mean we, you I know, think they're having fun too, but they are well, overworked. I, I, I agree. Yeah, it, it, he's got the yeah they've got the funnest jobs that, that they could have, but um, it's so a I lot think, of work. I think too. you know before I'm I you know my, I see myself done, and uh, you know this is working with the county executive because uh, um, you know, I also have to I owe it to him that he's given me this responsibility. He's pointed me to this position, and at the end of the day, you know I can request. You know, as much funding as as, as uh, I feel for the film commission, but at the end of the day, that's his decision and that's his generosity uh, and his support. Like I said, for the for for this industry and the growth of this industry that the film commission supports. Well, as positive as all this is, there are those out there though that you know that'll say, "Hey, wait a second, this is a luxury we can't afford." That you know, this is like icing on the cake. There have been those, you know, at the state when it's talking about tax credits, which is really one of the primary reason that people are, are coming here is because of those tax credits. What do you say to them? Does it make good economic sense to be to invest in films? So, if you look at that, at the investment in that tax credit uh, for every dollar of, you know, that's, that's, in, that's invested, we're getting $262 
back wow. in economic impact. So, I, I mean, I don't know where else you can apply credits that um, you can have that kind of a turnaround, that kind of a payback. Um, in 2019 alone, for one year, we had $77 million of economic impact due to the film industry in Western New York. And that's a big change. I mean, if you think, I, I don't know how long that period of time has been, but it's really mm -hmm. made a big difference. I mean, especially now with the pandemic and, you know, a number of people out of work, um, you know, it's a time that people are considering career changes and things that happen. You know, when the sound stages expand and open, um, that's jobs for everybody from, you know, carpenters and all of our skilled trade people, um, you know, these are when these studios, you know, are built and are here, there's going to be, you know, hundreds of full-time, you know, union jobs that that pay a great wage. So, in this transition through COVID to a changed economy, um, here's an opportunity uh, for jobs. Here's an opportunity for growth. Uh, here's an opportunity to, you know, for the community to rebound. Well, it must give you a good feeling, and I know it gives us a good feeling to have worked with you for as long as we have because you've really facilitated, uh, you know, the Buffalo Niagara Film Office, and I thank you for that, and on those two overworked, uh, Rich and Tim, to, I, I'm sure they thank you as well. But it, it's an interesting future when you talk about 200 years that Erie County will be celebrating. It's sort of cyclical. There were... There's a wonderful industry in these buildings that built locomotives. Now there's an industry that's making films, exactly. uh, but it's just very cyclical. But thank you and congratulations on a well-deserved retirement. Oh, oh. Thank you You're to welcome. Tom Hersey. I'm Cindy Abbott for Behind the Camera. Join us next thank time. Thank you.